On your second shift at the hospital, you receive orders from a senior eye doctor to administer medication to a patient. You notice that the doctor's notes state that the patient is to receive 0 0.05 for half an hour in the morning and 6 milliliters per hour for 0 0.4 hours in the afternoon. If the IV bag had 50 milliliters of medication, then how much would remain after the treatment? So this is key. So how much would remain okay, after the treatment? Keep answer to the 10th. So again, because we are dealing with medications, it's going to be either mass or volume. And here it is volume because they are utilizing milliliters. Okay, so that's what gives it away, the unit. Now, let's write the givens. We have, so first, and that was for half an hour. And second, and that was for 0.4 of an hour. Okay. So that's what we have. And then finally, we know that in total, we have 50 milliliters. So just checking units here, we have... So the first ones, let's see if these ones are consistent. Uh, they are not, because this is minutes, this is hours. So once we multiply, we can't do that, because that would be inconsistent. It wouldn't cancel the time units. Um, however, so here, half an hour is 30 minutes. Okay, so that will now be consistent here so that we can multiply. And the hours and hours here line up, so that is okay. And everything is in milliliters, so the milliliters is fine. Let's write our so statement. So let, so this is V be the volume remaining. So this is what they want, how much would remain. And now writing this down. So how much we start with? Well, we start with 50. Okay, so that's first. Okay, so that's 50 milliliters here. Now we're going to be subtracting. And of course, this is what we use now. So what do we use? Well, we use 0 0.05 milliliters per minute and that was for 30 minutes again notice I changed it because I want these units to cancel so that we have consistency plus now we also used six milliliters per hour times 0.4 hours and those hours will cancel. And then all we have left is now, so notice milliliters. So let's calculate this. So 50 minus, now inside our bracket here, we can have 0 0.05 times 30, which is only 1.5 that they've used. And then they had 6 times 0 0.4, so that's actually 2.4. So that's how much they used in total. Now I can add those up, actually. And I can do that on the calculator. It's 3.9. 
and so that will be v equals 50 minus 3.9 and that will be 46.1 milliliters remaining now let's check what they wanted they wanted the tenth it's actually already to the tenth so that is all thank you for watching